Danielle, I was so looking forward to interviewing you about your Co Romani experience because you had so much insight into uh, you know what happens on Co Romana. Now, as I recall, you weighed 168. At the beginning, you lost 40 pounds, and you weigh 128 afterwards. And um, you're about five foot four, five foot five. Is that right? That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How were you before Cora Romana, uh, and what was your experience on the program? Well, <clears throat> I've been aware of. Um, food of wheat of sugar for a very long time and in fact the reason I came to Cura was because um, here was a somebody who wasn't eating wheat wasn't eating sugar and I was losing no weight at all and my it was actually my homeopath that said you should read this book and it will all be clear to you and I read it and it was like um, a eureka moment where I thought oh thank goodness I'm not um, nutty, you know, I'm not the only one. And I was very, very excited um, to read uh, your book in the first instance and to embark on the program. But I was also scared, you know, and as you've said, I thought maybe I would be the only one that couldn't do it. It wasn't for me. I wouldn't be able to keep the weight off. Um, so I was very excited and very, very nervous at the same time. But as I went through it, um, I found that, for example, you know, when, when it just says 500 calories, um, I was, you know, oh, I can't do it. I won't be able to do it. Um, but the, the amount of vegetables you have on your plate is enormous. And, uh, and so, yes, it took me time to process it. But once I had got through that first adjustment, I just felt so well. And it's a real alive feeling. Um, and, the, and the more that it continues, the more clear I am. Um, can yeah, you work a little easier. bit about that clarity? I mean, is it a clarity mentally, emotionally, spiritually? What kind of yes. clarity is it? It's, 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 uh, it's as if a veil has been lifted in a way, isn't it? So that, yes, physically and um, in my body, I felt brighter. But I was also, I found that I'm able to make better judgments. My work is clearer. Um, sometimes when I'm... Um, either working or at home with my family, there's a sort of a feeling of hopelessness or overwhelmed. I can't cope with any more. And, um, and on this, um, on this system, you know, for me, the word diet's very muddled up, isn't it? It isn't, it, it's a confused word in our, in our society. But on this um, regime, eating in the way that I eat, I feel much more balanced I don't get those dips and troughs and um, anxieties, actually. A, the a reason feeling why of that. Um, that, that happens is because what Cora Romana does is put back into balance the autonomic yeah. nervous system, the diencephalon, the hormonal system, uh, and that is why people have such an easy time, both on the program but afterwards, provided they follow consolidation to the letter yeah. as well, um, so they no longer have to uh, experience those up and downs. Another thing that I that is terribly important, which again, I'm glad you said that because people don't understand this is not an ordinary slimming diet. It's a program yeah, yeah. for total transformation. Um, and another thing that's really important is that um, Cura Romana um, expands and expands and expands your experience with health, your experience of self, uh, and all, you know, many people think, oh, I have a terrible emotional problem with food, and I, it's hard for me to get through to them until they realize for themselves by experience that what they're experiencing is not emotional, it's a biochemical uh, a reaction because the foods they're eating are not the foods that their body thrives on. And of course, this is what consolidation is all about, which is unique, I think, in the world. It took me four years to, to create the thing. Um, yeah. And where people discover their, the foods that they love uh, their, from their body's point of view, and they need as much as they want, they never gain weight of those, and the foods that their body hates, which 
if they eat, they they disturb that wonderful balance that you're describing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, uh, what else uh, did you learn while you were on Cur Romana or, you know, what else did you find that surprised you about doing the program? Well, I think I think it was the um, the ability to do it easily. But there, there was a moment um, when I was doing the first three weeks that that program where it, it was as if I knew inside my body that something had changed. So, for example, before I did Cura, if I'd eaten um, salmon, for example, um, I would feel completely satisfied and it was the same with salad as well although I love salad I've always liked salad I always had this feeling that I wasn't full uh, and I would lurch for something afterwards and afterwards and afterwards and now I could eat salad you know pretty much um, for every meal I absolutely love it um, but it satisfies me you know a piece of salmon with coconut oil on it or olive oil is completely delicious and I don't eat anything with sugar in it because I know my body just can't tolerate it but I have other friends on the whole program and they can eat pretty much everything you know they just have to eat it in balance it, eat Dania, it, it changes gently. from person to person yeah I would say this is not a scientific measurement but from my experience of all the hundreds and hundreds of people I've mentored throughout the world um, about 40% uh, maybe 35% yeah. of people, of which I'm one, by the way, they cannot handle either sugar or mm. uh, or carbohydrate in the form of cereals and grains. Yeah, pasta, yeah. pizza, all of that. Um, then there's another um, probably 30% uh, that can handle these foods occasionally, provided they don't overdo <laughs> it. Um, yes. And then there are people that once they become aware of which of the carbohydrates and starchy vegetables their body deals with, which they don't, and they leave out the ones that they don't, they can eat them with just consciousness and awareness, and they don't yeah. regain weight. And that, to me, is and what matters, because who yes. wants to lose weight? And for me, sorry, yes, for me also, um, I can eat some foods um, earlier in the day, um, so I can have cream, for example, um, if I have it at lunchtime or before lunchtime. But if I eat it in the afternoon or the evening, then I tend to find that it upsets me. I can feel a difference in me. So it's also for me finding that real rhythm. You know, if I eat at 11, 30, 12, and then again at 5-ish and don't eat in the evening, I feel really, really healthy. And if for any reason I need to eat later than that, I can do it, but I don't feel as bright the next morning. And I, I think, you know, it's a privilege to be here on earth and, um, and to experience the life that we're experiencing. And I think to honor our bodies is just so important. Absolutely. And that, that yeah. of course, we women have been told again and again that our bodies are not the way they should be, that we're not the way yeah. they should be, you need yeah. to have this clothes, this lipstick, uh, uh, you need to be skinny as a rail, all this, which yes. is of course, utter nonsense. What you want yeah. to do is restore your body, which is what, what Kura does, to the, um, the size and the shape that is natural for you, that is right and for you. That's the most phenomenal thing, isn't it? Because again, what I felt um, and feel is that I'm now in my body. I'm in the body that feels right. I don't feel like I've lost loads and loads of weight. I just feel like this is the right size. And the brilliant thing for me, which was such a gift, thank you, is um, the guilt that I felt about I don't have enough willpower, um, I'm just a pig, I, uh, I, I just eat too much, if only I could hold myself back etc etc as soon as i understood the biochemical um you know di the the information about the diencephalon and and the chemical reactions in our bodies do you know in that instance the guilt just disappeared this feeling of guilt and as if i was not good enough somehow just disappeared 
and that was wonderful. That was fantastic. I when that starts to happen with the people that I work with on Cora yeah. Ramona, um, it excites me because I know that they're becoming um, aware of the beauty and magnificence of the individual that they are. And yeah. honestly, this is what just fuels my passion to uh, have as many people as possible experience this process and change their their lives permanently really yeah yes okay. and, I, and it, you know it's how I feel is um, I just want to tell people about it and I don't want to be um, evangelical about it but uh, you know people will say to me my goodness what have you done you know you look so fabulous and uh, and I just say you've got to read this book you've got to, you've got to do the program yeah great yeah Dania thank you so much um, I, I have so enjoyed our connection and I'm very grateful to you for sharing your experience uh, oh, with other people okay thank you thank you Leslie all right